Hey guys, it's Kristen of K-Stacks Designs. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I provide healthy hair tips and I'm starting to share more decor inspiration. Many of you have come to know and love my background. We're in my master bedroom and many have asked me to give a tour of my master bedroom. I was holding off to share it with you when I refreshed it. I wanted you to see the new and improved version. For the most part, my entire home is neutral. I enjoy the ability of being able to walk from room to room in the room's flow. However, in my bedroom, I think I've just kind of taken that to the extreme and it's a little too muted for me. I want to warm it up. I want to add some greenery, some blacks, some browns, maybe some deeper pewter, some more patterns, get rid of the bling. I want to de-glamorize it a little bit. You want to make it a place that's comfortable for both genders. Using neutral colors in your decor really help you to be gender neutral. However, the style I have isn't exactly gender neutral, so I'm going to add a little bit of a masculine, I don't really want to use that word, but a masculine touch to make this a comfortable place for me and Bay. I want to show you the specific things I want to change. I have a makeshift vanity in the corner. The mirror is a little bit too ornate. It's taking up a lot of space. I don't like the view of my makeup and hair products kind of being out and in this room with the vanity in the bedroom. If, if I get up, he got to get up and mm, that's not fun. That's not fair. Then I have a dresser that I absolutely love, but it's kind of blank, nothing's on it. A little pizzazz is needed there. I have a bookcase, again, that is just very blingy. I don't dislike bling, but it, it, just, it just needs something else. It's a little boring. And then I have this empty wall above a chair in the corner, so I want to do something there. What, I'm not sure. I'll be finding new pieces at Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Kirkland's, and Target. Very normal, everyday stores. I promise decor does not have to be intimidating, and I want you to come with me. Let's go. Here. So one of the things that needed to be spruced up was a empty glass. And the glass bowl, I was thinking about putting rose petals in it, but now, these rose petals aren't shouting me. Yeah, I'm not impressed by that. Here's some eucalyptus. I don't think that shouts me either. Maybe that's a fail. The next area I'm looking to spruce up is a bookcase in my bedroom. My bookcase is just a little sleepy. So I know I wanna add a few more items, maybe a couple fake books. So I found these. So I could stack these. I got a couple areas that need to be spruced up. And you could lay them like this and stack messages. Yep. We've got the main one that says love, but I'm gonna try to break up all the black, white, gray in my house. So this one kind of has a greenish tone. This is how you can add color. So that one. And then. That was good. That one's too big. Okay, I had to play around with the order and the colors. So I did want them to perfectly ascend. See this. I'm looking for some natural elements. Stuff to warm up my room. This might get the party going. This, this might be enough. And it's glass. And that glass look will still fit in with the chic, posh look of the room. I'm on the bridal aisle in Hobby Lobby, so I'm looking for something to fill that bowl with. Again, I told you all I'm trying to get away from bling. Everything is bling and mirrored. I think I need something dark, like something, something black or a deep. Rose petals were churched. <gasps> feathers. Feathers. Black feathers. Boom. Or feathers, period. Let's see. Feathers could work. I have balls. Something like this I got from my mom. There's nothing in them. And I feel like I should put... Don't break it. Don't break it. I feel like I should put something in it. 
Don't break, don't break. Participate, participate. Okay, and I do have some feathers in my room. So I don't know what my idea is exactly, but I think I'm gonna take, just buy these and we'll figure it out when we get home. Next up, Kirkland's. So for the most part, Kirkland's has more of a um, rustic feel and it really doesn't shout me. So the other thing I need is an oversized mirror. So Kirkland's can assist with that. Here's a, um, here's a shopping tip, Kirkland's. Your music's too loud. I can't even hear myself think. I'd flip out if my dealer's music was this loud. Um, lost my train of thought. I'm looking for a mirror, an oversized mirror to replace a vanity. Oh, those are cute. To replace a vanity and they do have mirrors here. So we're going to look at their mirrors and see if I see any, any acceptable prices. At least this size to sit in the corner in my room. This one's 65, but it's not quite big enough. I want to give you a bit of a pre-visual, but this is what I'm, the look I'm going for. I believe I want an oversized mirror in the corner with this on the floor. But instead of whatever leaf this is, probably want something a little softer, like a eucalyptus look. This one is fifty dollars. Huh? I'm actually gonna look other places, like look at Home Goods and see what they have. Home Goods might be a little cheaper, so we're gonna look there first. My favorite this addiction. I definitely believe I found what I am looking for. Um, I'll probably get this one. So this is eighty dollars, and look, it is. For real, full length, much better than what we've seen so far. Okay, so we saw these vases at where we just where were we we've been to many places already. I'm confused. At Kirkland's, Kirkland's, that's where it was. So this one has a bit of a blue tint, and these have a bit of a green tint. The question is the price. How much is it, job? <laughs> these are twenty dollars. At Kirkland's, they were fifty dollars. And this is why you shop around. The taller ones are 30. I'm just trying to envision this in my room. Although I like the wider base on this one, giving myself a few more inches height wise, I think I'm gonna like that look better. And then again, it's this plus a few stems in it to give it some height. So I saw this lady. Um, not going off, but something had occurred. I'm looking at her, you know, because everyone has on masks, and I can't really see her. Hey, so I was looking, it's like, wait a second, that's Pam from Martin. Acting like Pam from Martin in Home Goods. Gotta love Atlanta. Now, I know I just said I'm trying to eliminate the glitz and glam in my room. Skirt. These are $10. <laughs> this is like $50 in Z Gallery. I might have to get one of these. So I'm also gonna add this and this to the mix. I am heading out for day two of my bedroom haul. Is my camera crooked? Am I doing a gangsta lean? Hold on. And I was about to flat iron my hair really quick with the Timo. Just wanted to remind you um, of how easy this is to use. So if you think about it, the average YouTuber, when someone's showing you this, they're showing you on freshly washed hair or, you know, you gotta have a perfect setup. Sometimes, realistically, from a weave perspective, it's not gonna be freshly washed hair. And it's still gonna give you what you need though. Take this front section here, comb it through, apply pressure. Boom, straight through, a little pressure on the end there. Boom, perfect bump. Out the door in five minutes, let's go. I'm also gonna go in with my ORS Olive Oil Sheen Spray. I am not a fan of putting oil sheen on your real hair because of the alcohol content, but my weave, 
Ciao. We be all seen it up. Gotta give your unit a little shine out here in these streets. Oh, and it smells good. If y'all haven't noticed already, I'm really big on smelling stuff. It smells really good. Throwing out my makeup room. Child, this stuff smells good like perfume. I didn't know how I was doing it like that. That's what I get for not using it. And it's very lightweight. Okay, I sprayed it up. Home goods number two. And I've spotted a large vase like the one we got yesterday, but this one looks, this one's a little bit more contemporary. I like the shape a little better. I like this one better than the one I got yesterday, so I'm gonna grab that. I think, I think I've worn out my silverness though. I think I need to switch up and do like white, ivory, or black. I like it. How much is it? Don't be, don't be a zillion dollars. Don't be. For a slinky, a little bit more unique, so I can actually do 30 American dollars. That does not wear me out. So I wasn't exactly looking for a picture, but there is a blank wall near my bed with a chair with nothing above it. Uh, I wish I could put something up to this so you can see the size. This is pretty big. My hope is built on nothing less. I will shout. Home goods is saved. At the bottom of my bookcase, there is a lip sync came off. There's a larger open space, and I'm trying to figure out what would go well there. I'm eyeing this plate. I don't want the plate, but I want something like it. Showing you what I'm talking about. Like I need something to take up a lot of space. That's kind of big. Something that kind of sits up like a plate. Possibly some sort of decorative plate like this. Of course, that's not my color scheme, but something like it. When I'm at a standstill, like I am right now, and I start thinking about what I don't have. So if I think about that room, think about my master bedroom. I don't have a clock. Maybe a clock can fill that space. We'll see. Let's look. Boom! Found one! And it has a black background. Adding the color I need. Just had to be patient. That can take up a decent amount of space on that bottom level. Let's add that on. So this is why it pays to keep looking. So I was about to check out and then I see this large clock. It's cheaper than the smaller one. That So we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go home, put this all together and hope for the best. Game on. Let's get rid of this fancy schmancy mirror and all my makeup. Nearly every item we just bought has combined flawlessly. I'm going to replicate the look we saw in Kirkland's, except I'm going to use a different stem. There are four green stems and one white one just to add a little character. Adding a new mirrored item will always be Smudge City. A conversation with Windex was needed. I didn't record my target run, but I'm going to toss in a poof. It's actually an outdoor accessory. I found it in the patio furniture section. Instantly, this corner now gives off more of a livable vibe. Anybody can just walk into my bedroom and comfortably just pop a squat. I'm clearly catching up on Bridgerton here in the background. This fixture might easily be one of the favorites in my home. It's the Rock Ridge Accent Cabinet from Ashley. When I saw it, I just had to have it. It embodies a true transitional piece. That is the phrase of the day. You will hear me reiterate that at other points in the room. I plan on keeping this for a very long time. It fits literally every room in my home. It's in my bedroom. It could be in your man's cigar room, a great room. It could have crystal on top of it and serve as a buffet in a formal dining room. It could be in a kid's playroom with toys and board games in it. The possibilities are endless. And besides the functional use, aesthetically, 
the round studs match a couple other pieces in the room and it's just such a strong bold piece it really gives me game of throne vibes i'm leaning on my what is the room missing philosophy again i don't have any wooden elements yet i found two rectangular candlesticks at home goods and i believe those pair well with this scene Constructing many moments, creating little scenes is key to your room coming together. Now I'm placing this on the left hand side of the TV because there are decor items on that side and it creates a scene. If I place it on the right hand side of the TV, nothing's over there so that would be ineffective. The left side is easily an IG backdrop now. <laughs> to build on that natural feel, I am going to add a feather that we got from Hobby Lobby for a special touch. I did not end up keeping the fake books. They didn't fit the style I was going for. However, I still wanted to show you how I intended to use them so that you could use them in the same way. I planned on placing them under my Apple TV. On to the bookshelf. I'm a chick who's into decor who bought a house house by herself in her 20s. I can't sit around waiting for someone to come move furniture every time I change my mind. This bookshelf was not centered and I am sliding those super sliders under each leg and that enables me to move really heavy sturdy furniture by myself. RIP Pier 1, Corona has taken another retailer from us. This is another example of a good transitional piece. This could be in my future daughter's room, a formal dining room, at the end of a hallway, you name it. And it lights up. Because we know that large clock fits that lower level at the bottom, I'm going to start there. I'm gonna lay these different color feathers together and the shafts of the feathers are gonna help it lay flush with the shape of the bowl. Now the bookshelf is giving me the contemporary feel I was in search of. Pictures add warmth and make decor personal. If I remove that one picture of my line sister and I, now this is a bookshelf in West Elm and Z Gallery. Put it back, now this is Kristen's personal bookshelf. When it comes to using pictures and decor, we're not our grandparents. I don't really see people with full walls of mismatched picture frames anymore. One or two placed here or here will get the job done. I was crossing my fingers for the picture to be straight, please be straight, and of course it wasn't, so I adjusted it off camera. Black is really prevalent in the picture, so that prompted me to pull that color through the rest of the room. I rarely use it, but I previously used this chair in a living room with the more of a rustic look. By keeping this crystal lamp from Kirkland's and this mirrored nightstand from at home, we're maintaining a balance of elegance, even though we've added some masculine and natural features. I placed a black geometric shape that I found at Target opposite of that black leaf we found earlier.
I am solely going to mention this because I know there's someone watching who might care about it. I mean, I just don't get it. I don't know that decor will ever get this deep to me, but people love to karate chop their daggone pillows. If you do like that look, I don't want you to absorb any bad information because I remember reading that it needs to be a really high quality and expensive pillow in order to do that, and that's not true. A 100% feather filled pillow will also allow you to achieve that look. And these were only two for 25 from Home Goods. This is more of a normal pillow and see, I can't do it with this one. A really rich pop of color like a mustard yellow, royal blue, emerald green would look really good in this room, but I just couldn't make it work. Instead, I opted for this cognac pillow. It somewhat adds a pop of color, but I'm still able to stay in the neutral family. This faux leather is brawny and rugged. Seeing the contrast between leather, canvas, and fluffy fur is what it's all about, playing with texture. I'm still tying in some understated glam, my curtain rods have square crystal finials on the ends. How far up the wall you decide to mount your window treatment has the power to either stretch or dwarf your room. I have 96 inch curtains because I prefer to position the curtain rod well above the window for more of a grand look. Lastly, curtains. Here's where I need your help guys. I can't decide between the white curtains I already have, black and gray plaid, or plain gray. Let me know in the comments what you think will look best. I typically like to sit with changes that are this drastic for a week or two. I like to let a room grow on me for a couple weeks because I might think of something different that fits better. But since I flipped this room in 24 hours, if you see anything that you think would be a great fit, please let me know. Let's review the new arrangement. 